So good morning, good, good morning viewers. Uh, on our today's lesson, uh, we are going to cover from one mathematics. Uh, uh, the topic is uh, Argos and plane figures. Argos and plane figures. And we are going to cover the uh, question on the sum of the interior Argos. Uh, the sum of the interior Argos. So I want us to learn about the, the concept. Uh, on when you are dealing with the exterior and the interior angles. So all of our regular polygon. So and the question is uh, on this board. So as you can see. So let's go through the question together. So the size of an interior angle of a regular polygon. So a regular polygon is a polygon uh, whose all sides are equal. Uh, whose sides are equal. All sides are equal. So the interior angle, the interior angle is 3x, while its exterior angle is x minus 20 degrees. So find the number of sides of the polygon. Find the number of sides of the polygon. So how to work it out? Uh, this one, you are supposed to, uh, the knowledge that you require, you need to understand the concept, the relationship between interior angle, interior angle, plus exterior angle of a regular polygon is always equal to 80 degrees. All that interior and the exterior angle, they are supplementary angles. Angles that add up to uh, 180 degrees, they are called supplementary. So interior and exterior, they are supplementary angles. Or angles on a straight line. So for example, if you have this kind of polygon, and this is the interior, then this is the exterior because they are on the straight line. So that interior plus exterior equals 180. So therefore, you come to your question, you have interior as 3x, that's interior. Exterior is x minus 20, you equate it to 180. You form an equation there that 3x plus x minus 20 equals 180 degrees. So now you can add 3x plus x, you get 4x. Then this is minus 20 is equal to 180. So what you do when you have minus 20 on this side, you are supposed to, you are supposed to, you are supposed to take minus 2 on the other side, minus 20 on the other side, you add plus 20. So you get 4x is equal to 200. Because this was minus on this side, on that side becomes uh, plus one, plus 20. So you get, that is 200. So divide by four, divide both sides by four. So you get your value of x is 50 degrees. The value of x is equal to 50 degrees. So but the examiner is asking, you find the number of sides, the number of sides. So when you have the value of x, you can now reduce the, the interior and the exterior angle. So what is the interior angle now? Interior was 3x. So it is 3 times 50. You get that is 150 degrees. 150 degrees. What is the exterior angle? The exterior angle was x minus 20. So this is 50 minus 20. You get that. That is that a degrees. That is that a degrees. That's that a degrees. So the exterior angle is that a degrees. Then now you want to find the number of sides of a polygon. The number of sides of a polygon and number of sides. Number of sides. We say n is equal to 360 divided by the exterior angle. Exterior angle. Divided by the exterior angle. So therefore, in this case, uh, so what's the size of the exterior angle? That are degrees. So therefore, you say n is equal to 360 over exterior, or exterior is that a degrees. 360 divided by that. So therefore, this comes to 12 sides. That becomes to 12 sides. So that becomes 12 sides. So therefore, our N is equal to 12. So number of sides is 12. In that kind of a question. So number of sides. So that is how you solve the question on the the relationship between exterior and interior angles. So you say 
exterior plus interior equals one eighty. And you already provided with the ex, a, a interior, then the exterior. When you add them, you get one eighty. So therefore, our x x is equals to x is equals to fifty. Then you substitute that the interior angle was three times fifty uh, times you get one fifty. My exterior is fifty minus twenty. You get that is that. So there, the number of sides of the polygon will be given by 360 over the size of the exterior angle. So therefore, n is equals to 12. The value of n is equals to 12. So that is how you solve that one. So thank you very much for that lesson. Asante sana.